Something extraordinary just happened in China's financial markets. A microchip company nobody outside of Asia had heard of six months ago just completed one of the most explosive public offerings in recent memory. And the numbers surrounding this debut are so staggering, they demand your immediate attention. We're talking about a firm that's positioning itself as a genuine rival to NVIDIA. Yes, that NVIDIA, the American semiconductor powerhouse worth over $4 trillion and the undisputed king of artificial intelligence computing hardware. Now, you might be thinking, how is that even possible? How does an upstart enterprise dare to compete with a company that essentially invented the modern GPU architecture powering today's AI revolution? The answer lies not just in China's massive domestic market or Beijing's strategic ambitions, but in something far more personal. The founder and chief executive of this Chinese GPU manufacturer is James Zhang, a man who previously held the position of vice president at NVIDIA itself, spending 14 years constructing the American giant's entire operational presence across mainland China. This isn't just another story about Chinese industrial policy or technological ambition. This is about insider knowledge, strategic timing, and the unintended consequences of economic warfare. Zhang didn't start his professional journey in Beijing. His career began in the mid-1990s at Hewlett-Packard and Dell before he eventually joined NVIDIA in 2005. During his time there, he became instrumental in driving the company's phenomenal expansion throughout the Chinese market. He understands their technological architecture, their supply chain vulnerabilities, and their competitive strategies at a level few outsiders could match. And now, he's channeling all that expertise into building what many are calling China's answer to NVIDIA, headquartered right in the heart of Beijing. The initial public offering of more threads became nothing short of a national spectacle. Investor demand reached levels that defy conventional financial logic. The offering was oversubscribed by more than 4,000 times. Let that sink in for a moment. The total value of bids submitted exceeded $4.5 trillion, which actually surpasses NVIDIA's entire market capitalization. These figures reveal something profound about Chinese investor sentiment toward domestically developed technology and about how intense the technological competition between Washington and Beijing has truly become. Today, we're going to dissect exactly what transpired during this landmark market event. We'll examine who's driving China's newest semiconductor champion, how Beijing intends to challenge NVIDIA's global supremacy, and what all of this signals about the evolving nature of the U.S.-China technology confrontation. Let's begin with a revealing piece published recently in The Economist, titled, China's Chip Industry Will Surprise the World. Released just weeks ago, the article paints a compelling picture of what China is preparing to achieve throughout 2026. According to their analysis, the surprises will come not from software code, but from silicon itself. Chinese enterprises will make significant advances in two domains long considered beyond their capabilities, designing and manufacturing powerful AI chips. For anyone still clinging to the belief that China lacks genuine innovation capacity, consider what happened in January 2025. A relatively obscure Chinese artificial intelligence startup named DeepSeek sent shockwaves through the global tech community by unveiling an AI model that rivaled OpenAI's offerings. But here's what made it truly remarkable. They built it using a fraction of the budget and, critically, without access to NVIDIA's most sophisticated chip architectures. DeepSeek demonstrated that China could engineer solutions around American export restrictions and, perhaps more importantly, that they could achieve comparable results with significantly fewer resources. That same innovative energy is now coursing through China's semiconductor sector, with companies like More Threads leading the charge. But the narrative takes an even more dramatic turn when we examine recent comments from NVIDIA's own CEO, Jensen Huang. Speaking at a private gathering in Taiwan last month, Huang offered a brutally honest assessment of American export control policies. His exact words were, These export controls are the dumbest thing we've ever done. You've just given them the best national mobilization mission in 50 years. It's like the Sputnik moment on steroids. 
he continued with an even more startling prediction. Washington thinks they're stopping China. They're not stopping China. They're accelerating China. By 2027, China will have more AI computing power than the rest of the world combined. Mark my words. This is an astonishing admission from someone whose company's entire future depends on America maintaining dominance in the global AI chip marketplace. And it's a theme that keeps recurring. Both the Biden and Trump administrations have discovered that every attempt to slow China's technological ascent has produced precisely the opposite result. China is innovating at a pace unprecedented in its modern history, which brings us directly back to more threads. This IPO didn't emerge in a vacuum. It's part of a comprehensive national campaign to construct China's own version of NVIDIA and dismantle America's control over the global semiconductor supply infrastructure. Even Gina Raimondo, who served as Commerce Secretary under President Biden, has now publicly acknowledged that American sanctions failed to achieve their intended objectives. In a recent appearance at Harvard University, she made some remarkable statements. She praised China's industrial policy as massively effective and stunning, noting that anyone who's experienced a BYD electric vehicle would recognize it as a gorgeous car that works really well. She went on to mention Huawei, calling their resurgence incredible, and noted that people in the government two administrations ago thought they were going to hobble Huawei. They came back stronger than ever, making incredible chips, it's quite remarkable hearing this perspective from someone who was directly involved in crafting those very policies. But the historical record is clear. Here's what Raimondo stated in 2022, in remarks still published on official government websites. We will continue to take action to protect our advantage and maintain as large a lead as possible in these foundational technologies. We released a set of rules that impose systematic and technology-specific export controls to limit China's ability to purchase and manufacture certain very advanced computing chips used to train large-scale artificial intelligence models. Yet here we are, in 2026, watching China's AI industry explode in growth with more threads about to make history. So let's examine why this public offering sent tremors through the global technology sector. Most people outside China had never encountered the name More Threads until this IPO went viral. But within China, this company represents something far more significant than just another startup. It represents China's genuine attempt at building its own NVIDIA, powered by someone who knows the American giant from the inside out. More Threads was established in 2020 by James Zhang, that former NVIDIA vice president who dedicated 14 years to building the company's Chinese presence. From the very beginning, his vision extended beyond simply creating a chip company. The mission was to construct an entire GPU ecosystem, everything from physical hardware to developer tools to AI training frameworks, all developed domestically within China's borders. To truly understand this, you need to grasp one fundamental concept. NVIDIA's real power doesn't come solely from its high-performance GPUs. It comes from something called CUDA. If you've never heard of it, don't worry. CUDA is essentially the operating system and software infrastructure that enables AI engineers to train models, run complex simulations, develop video games, and process enormous quantities of data. Think of CUDA as NVIDIA's proprietary language. For 15 years, it's been the foundational layer supporting the entire global AI industry. Every major AI laboratory depends on it. Every serious developer builds with it. Without CUDA, NVIDIA's GPUs wouldn't dominate the worldwide market the way they do. But More Threads has successfully developed their own version of CUDA. They call it MUSA, and it's engineered to maintain compatibility with NVIDIA's ecosystem. This means Chinese developers can now construct and train advanced AI models on more threads hardware using tools that function almost identically to NVIDIA's established setup. Industry experts predicted this would require a decade or longer to recreate. More threads accomplished it in just a few years. So, the secret ingredient behind more threads is, once again, James Zhang himself. 
His reputation as NVIDIA's primary representative on the ground in China for many years really sets him apart. When he left NVIDIA to start his own venture, his pedigree and credibility, you know, attracted some of the finest engineering talent from NVIDIA, AMD, and China's leading technology platforms. Because of Zhang's track record, More Threads was able to secure substantial investment from some of China's most powerful tech corporations, including ByteDance, Tencent, and Sequoia China. When companies of this caliber invest at this magnitude, it sends a clear signal that they see More Threads as a cornerstone of China's long-term artificial intelligence future. Now, while companies like NVIDIA and AMD usually release a major GPU architecture every two to three years, More Threads has managed to launch four distinct generations in just four years, a pace of innovation that's honestly almost unheard of in the semiconductor industry. Their most recent architecture, unveiled in 2024, is capable of training AI models with trillions of parameters. That achievement places more threads squarely in the realm of high-end computing and makes them a crucial domestic supplier for companies like DeepSeek, who are training frontier-scale models entirely within China. But maybe, most importantly, more threads is building exactly what China needs most urgently right now. GPUs for cloud computing, gaming, enterprise AI applications, and data centers. And, well, these are precisely the sectors where NVIDIA built the foundation of its global empire. Now, let's talk about the IPO itself, because this is where things get, honestly, almost unbelievable. More Threads received regulatory approval for its public offering in just 90 days, one of the fastest approvals in the history of the Shanghai Stock Exchange. This speed really shows just how strategically vital Beijing considers domestic GPU development. But the real shock came when the subscription window opened. The IPO was oversubscribed by 4,126 times, drawing bids totaling as high as 33 trillion yuan, which is equivalent to about 4.5 trillion US dollars. That's actually more than NVIDIA's entire market capitalization. In Western media, we often hear narratives suggesting that China's economy is collapsing and that its markets have no future. But you know, the reality is a lot more nuanced. Certain strategic industries in China aren't slowing down at all. In fact, they're absolutely booming. Beijing sees computing power as the fuel source for the next industrial revolution. The key to breakthroughs in AI, national security, cloud infrastructure, and the future of robotics. That's why state-owned giants like China Telecom and private companies like Meituan all poured capital into the More Threads IPO. When China's government and its largest technology companies invest side by side, that's not just excitement. It's a transparent signal of China's long-term national strategy. And honestly, the scale is absolutely stunning. More Threads raised 8 billion yuan, about 1.12 billion US dollars, at a valuation of $17.5 billion on opening day. Most chip startups would only dream of reaching a billion-dollar valuation after 10 years of operation. More Threads hit 17 times that figure overnight. Thriving under sanctions. Remember, this company has achieved all of this while operating under U.S. sanctions. After being placed on the U.S. entity list in 2023, More Threads could have collapsed. Instead, they doubled down, restructured their operations, streamlined their processes, and according to internal communications, declared that nothing will compromise our resolve to build world-class GPUs. Two years later, as domestic AI demand exploded, the company emerged even stronger than before. The big picture. If you remember one thing from this entire discussion, I want it to be this, because it captures exactly why this IPO matters so profoundly to China. More Threads isn't trying to beat NVIDIA. NVIDIA will continue being an extraordinary American technology company, shaping the future of global artificial intelligence. But More Threads is building something fundamentally different, a world where China doesn't need NVIDIA at all. And that's precisely why Jensen Huang is concerned. He recognizes that China represents one of the most valuable AI chip markets on the planet. 
He's watched NVIDIA plummet from a 95% market share in China to essentially zero after export controls were implemented. And Huang understands that companies like More Threads are rising specifically to fill that vacuum to construct a completely self-reliant domestic ecosystem capable of powering every component of China's future technology infrastructure. The broader technology race, if today's discussion has proven anything, it's that the global technology competition between the United States and China has accelerated faster than almost anyone anticipated. Microchips will remain the most precious resource for every nation, but the technological race is expanding into new domains of competition, especially in artificial intelligence and automation, and also in a field you might not have considered before, humanoid robotics. Both America and China view humanoid robots as the next major platform shift, capable of transforming manufacturing, defense, logistics, and the fundamental nature of work itself. What we're witnessing right now is the beginning of one of the most significant technological transitions of our lifetime. The reality is that humanoid robots remain in the earliest stages of real-world deployment. As of late 2025, humanoids represent only about 0.2% of the global robotics market, with most units operating inside pilot programs and controlled environments like automated factories. But the rate of progress is accelerating rapidly, and the companies building this emerging ecosystem are beginning to attract some of the most powerful strategic investors in the world. Closing reflection, the story of more threads isn't just about one company's remarkable IPO or one executive's journey from NVIDIA to building China's semiconductor future. It's about the unintended consequences of economic policy, the resilience of technological ambition, and the reality that in today's interconnected world, attempts to suppress innovation often achieve the exact opposite result. As we move deeper into 2026, one truth becomes increasingly clear. The competition for technological supremacy won't be won through restrictions or sanctions alone. It will be won through innovation, investment, and the ability to attract and retain the world's finest engineering talent. More Threads has demonstrated that China possesses all three. The question now isn't whether China can build its own advanced semiconductor ecosystem. They're already doing it. The question is how the rest of the world will respond. And that's a question whose answer will shape not just the next few years, but the next few decades of global technological development.